Jeez. Yo, what's up, y'all? Prince Sports here. Now, I think it's going to be to a certain extent or a certain time period when Kyrie Irving just gives in and gets vaccinated. Now, when he does that and that day comes, I'm going to ask myself, and you should ask yourself, when you're judging Kyrie Irving, why did you pit everybody to do this whole I don't want to get vaccine debacle if you're just going to cave in and give in anyway? Right? So, millions of dollars are at stake. You're on the verge of either leaving the team or missing 40 plus games that could very well cost your team a championship. If I'm Kevin Durant, I got to sit down and talk with Kyrie Irving and be like, hey, if this is what you really want, I think the Brooklyn Nets should trade you. Yo, my good friend, but you're standing in the way of me winning the championship. Because for legacy points, Kevin Durant can't lose to LeBron James and LeBron James can't lose to Kevin Durant. If they lose to, you know, like the teams like the Phoenix Suns and all these other teams, it has less of a in it, effect on their legacies than them beating each other. You know, so because they're the main rivals of this whole um, legacy thing, you know, and Kevin Durant, he needs to win more in a different way, a more um, convincing way to upgrade his legacy. And he can't do that if this drama is on the Brooklyn Nets. So why not just pull the trigger and say, hey, trade this guy for Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons on the Brooklyn Nets would be a much better option than Kyrie Irving. Cause you have one guy that won't take the ball out your hands. Instead, he a playmake and give James Harden and Kevin Durant all the freedom they have to score. And the flip side, Kyrie Irving is threatening to retire, threatening to uh, miss the whole season. You got all the money in the world, man. You got millions of dollars. Won't you take that and invest that into something else if you don't want to play basketball anymore? Because it's going to get to a point where teams aren't going to keep vouching for you. Now, I understand that you want to stand your ground. You don't want to get vaccinated. Me, myself, I'm not vaccinated. But my situation is different from your situation. I don't have millions of dollars at stake. If millions of dollars at stake, I would give it a second thought and probably think of, hey, even if something happened to me, my family got millions of dollars. They scraped. The legacy will continue. You know, but in your case, Kyrie Irving, um, you're just dragging your team along and you're just making bad chemistry. You know, decide what you want. When you say things like, oh, I may leave the door open to get vaccinated, that means what we, what you say is not really golden. So you, you're a walking hypocrite of yourself because you're not even believing in what you say. If you don't want to get vaccinated, stand by not getting vaccinated, you know, and hold out for a year probably. You got the money to do it. Why you need to play basketball? And if you really want to play basketball, that's a passion. Allow yourself to be traded. Because if you go to Philly, it's not mand mandated that you have to be vaccinated like that, right? Because in the state of New York, it says you have to be vaccinated, right? It's mandatory. You know, all states got different rules. So once you go to a team like Philly, where the rules are a little bit or less, and you could play home games the full season and you could be that man playing with Joe and B and try to help the Nets win the championship. Not the Nets, the 76ers win the championship. It works both ways. You know, Kyrie Irving himself is a very confused individual that don't know what he wants sometimes. And that could be very, very um, distracting to yourself and your team. You know, now I do applaud the fact that he don't want to get vaccinated. I don't want to get vaccinated. But one of the main reasons why I don't want to get vaccinated is because of the simple fact. Um, it hasn't really been proven. You could be vaccinated and still get sick. OK, when I see results and it actually works and it's actually doing its job, then I may come down to a conclusion because the facts is presented in front of me to change my idea or change my belief. 
But until then, I'm still standing firm with my belief. You know, I work, but I'm not vaccinated and I won't be vaccinated. If my job requires me to be vaccinated right now, I will leave. I already did it. I already stand by my word. Okay. I already left jobs because it required vaccination and I didn't do it. You know, so in the words of Kyrie Irving, you got to be a man and stand on your own 10, own 10 toes. And you got to stand by your own belief because a man's word is nothing if you don't stand by it. You know, so you getting everybody or at least some of your followers to think that, hey, you're fighting for human rights. And it comes to find out you're not fighting for human rights. The whole reason why you don't want to get vaccinated is not religious beliefs like Andrew Wiggins. It's not um, because you don't trust uh, being vaccinated, whatever the case may be. It's for one simple fact. You fell for a conspiracy that says getting vaccinated for black people is a way to put a chip in black people and to control black people. Well, newsflash, Kyrie, everybody's been getting vaccinated, non-black people. All right. So if vaccination is just to brainwash or control black people, then why are many other races getting it? You know, um. Like I said, I don't want to be vaccinated, um, but don't, my reasons are not because of medical, I mean, like uh, morals and ethnics like you was talking about. You know, you said you don't want to get vaccinated because it's, it's a moral thing. Well, saying that you don't want to get vaccinated because you think there's a conspiracy behind black people and getting vaccinated. That's not a moral effect. That's just a conspiracy. So you are a conspiracy brother. All right. You like the dude that man, aliens are coming. You know, I got my basement, everything ready, guns, you know, the whole stash. <laughs> That's what you're doing, you know? So this is no shot at Kyrie. I do respect what you're doing, brother. But at the same time, you got to get real with it, man. And, um, be realistic about what you're going to say. You know, um, think before you say, okay? Or think before you talk because you put yourself out there, then you get yourself ethered. And that's the problem with Kyrie Irving. Just allow the team to trade you, bro. You know, it's only a matter of time before you're out of there anyway because Kevin Durant, your buddy, is not going to take losing while you sit on the sideline if that's the case. He's going to want to win. And if you're a distraction to the team, you're out of here. Prince Sports out. Peace.